Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in the Daily Mail, September 19th, 2018. As you know, it doesn't take much for Black people to have the police called on them. The only criteria you need is Black skin. And I think what is even more ridiculous are the reasons that these folks come up with. They're not even good liars, ladies and gentlemen. Their lies are pretty horrific. It was humiliating. Neighbor calls 911 on first black state assemblywoman in Wisconsin district as she campaigned door to door because he suspected she was involved in a drug deal. Okay, so people that are involved in drug deals go door to door, knocking and campaigning. <laughs> okay, even if you didn't know what she was doing, that explanation is stupid. It really is. Okay. A black legislative candidate says she feels humiliated after police in Wisconsin stopped her and questioned her while she was campaigning door to door. Dane County Supervisor Sheila Stubbs, 46, revealed on Wednesday that she was campaigning last month with her 71-year-old mother and eight-year-old daughter when a neighbor called 911 Oh yeah, that must have been one hell of a drug deal with this woman, her 71-year-old mother and an eight-year-old kid. Yeah, that, that must have been some drug deal. Okay, the male neighbor suspected that the silver sedan being driven by Stubbs' mother was waiting in the area to pick up narcotics. Okay, he's just pulling this from his ass. Okay, <laughs> he's just pulling this from his ass. From a local drug house, according to police records reviewed by the Capital Times. I don't believe him. I believe he is pulling this story from his ass. After winning the Democratic primary a week after the incident. Stubbs faced no opponent in the general election and is set to become the first Black person to represent Dane County in the Wisconsin Assembly. Well, good for her. She got what she wanted. And here's pictures of this woman involved in the drug deal. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she looks so threatening, doesn't she? Yes. Mm-hmm. I can't even go along with that lie. It's so bad. It was just so degrading, Stubbs told the Times of the police encounter. It was humiliating. It was insulting. Stubbs said she had been in what she says, a uh, predominantly white neighborhood where there you go right there for less than 20 minutes and had knocked on five or six doors. The police report does not identify the 911 caller except as a male. And it is unclear what race he might've been. Oh, come on now, come on now. <laughs> okay. Come on now. We already seen the pattern in this country way too many times. She told the newspaper that she saw a squad car pull up next to her family's vehicle. Stubbs said that she told the officer what she was doing and the officer asked to see um, the voter list and she was using to determine which houses to visit, she then tried to explain to her daughter what had happened. My daughter said, mommy, why don't they believe us? Stubbs told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. 
I said, sometimes we have to do more as African-Americans because of who I am, who we are. It's not fair. That's why mommy is working so hard to change things for you because I don't want you to go through the same thing mommy goes through. So I guess, yeah, this is her family, her husband and daughter. All right. It's unbelievable. The report indicates the encounter ended. All right. So everything ended okay. Uh, you know, fortunately, most of these incidents have ended well. I still would love to know who this person was, you know, because the best revenge is to out them over the internet. Because once that happens, their lives are never the same. And that's exactly what should happen to them. I don't feel sorry for these people when they lose their jobs and have to go into hiding. Tough. Okay, Stubbs and her mother uh, handing the officer, uh, Catherine Bland, their cell phone numbers and offered to help Bland improve race relations. Still, Stubb said she had to work hard to prove she was who she said she was. She showed the officer her name tag, her campaign literature, and a list of addresses she wanted to approach. I belong where I choose to go. I don't have to, you don't have to like me. You don't even have to respect me, but I have a right to be places, Stubb said. Stubb is a second black woman in recent months to be questioned by police while campaigning. In July, a deputy confronted Oregon State Senator Janelle Bynum, who was campaigning for re-election. And the bottom line is, as I stated before, ladies and gentlemen, this is never going to change, okay? And so far, they don't call the police on anyone but Black people. There is no calls for Asians or Arabs or anyone else, just exclusively Black people. So yes, I can say it's about race. Until you show me another pattern, I'm going to continue to say it is all about race, period. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.